Synthetic division is a simplification of the long division by working with coefficients only. However, synthetic division only applies when the divisor is a linear factor in the form of x minus k. It doesn't work when the divisor is a quadratic factor or even with a higher degree. Again, I will explain synthetic division with examples. In this example, for this third degree polynomial function, if one of its factors is known to be x minus 1, we need to completely factorize it. We're going to find the remaining factors by using the synthetic division. So we first draw the symbol for synthetic division. Now we need to write down the coefficients only from the original function. We don't have to write down the complete original function, unlike what we did in long division. However, when you write down the coefficients for the original function, you have to be careful that your original function is written in a strict order of descending power of x, like this one. In this case, we have the first term x to the third power, next term x to the second power, next term x to the first power, and the last term x to the zeroth power, which is a constant term. So that is a strict descending order of the power of x. And also, if you have any missing term, you need to fill in 0 to be the coefficient. Here, we don't have any missing term. So we can write down the coefficients in order 1, negative 8, 17, and negative 10. And for the divisor, the factor is x minus 1. This factor indicates a 0 to the function that is x equals to 1. Therefore, we write x equals to 1 down here. This indicates a divisor of x minus 1. Now, we're ready to perform the division. So we write down the first coefficient again, and we multiply this coefficient by the 0, which is 1. 1 multiplied by 1 equals to 1, we put it here. And for synthetic division, we do addition. We don't do subtraction as we did in long division. So negative 8 plus 1 equals to negative 7. Multiplied by the 0, which is 1, again, negative 7 multiplied by 1 is negative 7. Addition again, 17 plus negative 7 is positive 10. Multiplied by the 0, 1 again, which is 10, negative 10 plus 10 is a 0, and that is the remainder. Again, remainder of 0 indicates exact division. Now, how do we interpret this? These three numbers here correspond to the coefficients of our quotient. So in this case, this corresponds to a quadratic factor of x squared minus 7x plus 10. Again, in a strict descending order of the power of x. Therefore, our original function equals to x minus 1 multiplied by x squared minus 7x plus 10. And this quadratic factor needs to be further factorized into linear factors only. And that completes the factorization. In this example, for the fourth degree polynomial function, if we know two of its factors, x minus 2 and x plus 4, we need to find the remaining factors so that we can factorize this function completely. Again, we're going to use the synthetic division. We're going to do a two-step division since we have two factors. So we draw the symbol and fill in the coefficients from the original function. Again, make sure that the original function is written in a strict descending order of x powers. In this case, it is. But also, we have a missing term. We don't have the linear x term. We don't have x to the first power. Therefore, we need to write down the coefficients 3, 4, negative 36, and 0. We need to fill in the 0 for that x term, and then 64. Now, when we divide this function by the first factor, x minus 2, that factor indicates a 0 of x equals to 2. And that goes here. So now we're ready to perform the division. We write down the first coefficient, 3, multiplied by the 0, which is 2. 
3 times 2 equals to 6, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 times 2, 20, negative 36 plus 20 is negative 16, multiply by 2 again, negative 32, 0 plus negative 32, that is still negative 32, multiply by 2 again, negative 64, 64 plus negative 64, remainder of 0, which indicates an exact division. And this tells us the original function equals to x minus 2, and then read the coefficients of the quotient, 3x to the third power plus 10x squared minus 16x minus 32. And because we know another factor, x plus 4, we can simply continue to do the synthetic division. Draw the symbol again. Factor x plus 4 indicates a 0 of negative 4 that goes here. Again, write down the coefficient 3 multiplied by the 0, which is negative 4, that is negative 12, 10 plus negative 12, negative 2, multiplied by negative 4, positive 8, negative 16 plus 8, negative 8, multiplied by negative 4, positive 32, negative 32 plus 32, again, remainder of 0, indicating an exact division. So this tells us the original function equals to x minus 2, x plus 4, the two given factors, and multiply by a quadratic factor, 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. And we can easily continue to factor a quadratic factor. You can either eyeball it, or you can use the quadratic formula. And that is 3x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 2. Now, this original function is written in the form of a product of four linear factors. And that completes this problem.